And here we go with our main event this week on the reality of wrestling. Here is the youngest reality wrestling champion in history. He's held that illustrious title on three separate occasions. You might know him from around the world, but here he is known as El Campeón, Gino. Gino, who has made the big stage his permanent residence, is looking to solidify his name and his face with a place on the Christmas Chaos 15 card. Gino has been somebody who came into this company under a different moniker years and years ago. As a young teenager, a second generation performer, his father, the late great El Sangrenario, down in Mexico. He came in here to come under the expert tutelage of Booker T and he has become his prized pupil. With all that attention, with all that acclaim, came an arrogance that he has carried with him throughout the entirety of his career. It has led him to great successes and some failures. But tonight, he wants to get a shot at that reality of wrestling television champion. This is our main event on the reality of wrestling. This is the first time we're seeing this man as a name that he carries with him into reality of wrestling for his debut. And what a better way to make a debut in the main event of the hottest show independent sports entertainment programming, the reality of wrestling. Wolf has an opportunity to punch his ticket to CC15. First time meeting between these two men in a world gym arena. Unlike some of the other matches that we saw this evening, we talked about Q and Brian Keith who were so familiar with one another, having wrestled one another before, having trained together, having grown up together within this company. This is the opposite of that. This is Gino, who's very confident, very aware of his own abilities going up against Wolf, who has had great success outside of this company, but has never come to the flagship of Texas wrestling. And this is where the proving grounds are. If you can make it here, you can make it in the big time, whether that's AEW, whether that's WWE, whether that's any other promotion, New Japan, if you get it done in reality of wrestling and you get that stamp of approval from the Row Nation, it's like New York City, you can make it anywhere. Great early goings here from Wolf, tying Gino up. A wrist lock in deep, Gino getting to the second ropes. Making the referee break it up. Great ring awareness there from the former champion. Side headlock there from the Wolf. Now Gino reverses. He is in the driver's seat now. Blowing a kiss to the camera is El Davino Gino. El Intocable, meaning the untouchable. And he has been very much that in his illustrious and young career. The Wolf seems to be matching him move for move. Great arm drag there. Mm. 
Cover one. Kick out there. Gino trying to get a quick cover. Beautiful. May I say Ricky Steamboat style. With those beautiful arm drags. And look, went to the well one too many times. Gino. Oh! Trying to get the advantage. Wolf rolls through. Chop to the chest. Look at that. Aerial acrobatics from the debuting Wolf. Oh, man. Giving Gino everything he's got. I don't think Gino was ready for this kind of offense. Covering up, and Wolf, hesitation, drop kick, two feet to the sternum. Cover one, two, Gino, great ring awareness and presence, able to get that left boot on the bottom rope. Wolf up top. Oh, and look at that again. The presence of mind that Gino has is uncanny and, in sec and is second to none. I have never seen somebody in this industry, in my near decade of calling the matches for the reality of wrestling, have I ever seen somebody as smart as Gino when it comes to his in-ring awareness and his in-ring IQ? By any means necessary has always been the motto of Gino, directing Isaac Bouillon to start the count and now stalking down Wolf. Chop to the chest there. Rolling him back in. Going for another cover here. One, two, kick out after two. Rear chin lock here. Now just pulling in at the mouth and the sides of the face. And a big chop. Oh! And there's a forearm from Wolf to Gino. Gino, Irish whip reversal. House on fire, but catches a left elbow to the side of the dome. Wolf up. Oh, nobody home. Nobody home for the inverted moonsault. And he is feeling that. Gino with a cover. One, two, and a kick out by Wolf at two and a half. What a series right there. And Gino grabbing the wrist again, control the wrist. If you can control that arm, you can control the body. And that is what El Intocable is doing. And now, squeezing at the ribs with his lower extremities are Gino. And the Wolf is in no position to get to the bottom rope. He's in real trouble here. Turns it into a cover. One, two, uh, almost. Gino turns him in. What is he doing? What's he going for here? Is he going for a sharpshooter? Wolf is feeling this one. Can't get to the ropes. He's about a foot away. Gino pulls him back into the inside. Rolls through. Wait a minute. Cover. One, two. Oh my goodness. Good Wolf almost getting. Oh. Knee right to the face of Gino. That's got to be all cover. One, two, and a kick out. A kick out. A kick out from Gino Medina. That move normally flat lines every opponent of Wolf. Oh. 
Snake Eyes there from Gino. Discus clothesline misses from Wolf. Backslide cover one, two, and a kick out. Ducks the line. Six, one, nine. Nobody's home. And there's that discus clothesline. Shades of Brody Lee. One, two, kick out after two. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we in for a fight tonight? Beautiful suplex. Shades of ECW legend Taz with that one. House on fire. Gino, perfect. Beautiful snake eyes rolls through. Oh, with that elevated knee right to the grill. That question mark kick to Wolf. That's probably going to be it right here. Gino, one, two, and a three. No, kicking out of that kick. That question mark kick from Gino. And Gino looking at Wolf. Gino, looking for it. Scarlet Letter. Oh! Into a tilt the world power bomb here. Cover one, two, and a kick out from Gino after two and a half. That might have been Wolf's last opportunity here, unless he can capitalize with some incredible offense while Gino is still recovering. And I think that is on his mind. What is the Wolf going to do? Up at the top rope. Gino trying to trip him up again. Successful. Oh my goodness, and that's got to be all. That's got to be all. Gino. One, two, three. Gino. Ed Stone. Mysterious Q and Zach Mason will all compete at Christmas Chaos at a fatal four-way match for the Reality of Wrestling Television Championship. But an incredible main event this week on the Reality of Wrestling. Wolf did a phenomenal job. I hope to see him back in the Reality of Wrestling ring very soon. But it will not be on Christmas Chaos. That spot is reserved for El Intocable Gino. Well, we know there we are going to see Savage King versus Ryan Davidson inside the confines of a steel cage in our main event and your co-main event for the Reality Wrestling Television Championship. Gino, Edge Stone, Mysterious Q, and Zach Mason. Incredible. And Gino with a sign of respect and Gino giving him the ring. An unusually classy move from El Campeon. For our director, Kevin Bernhardt, for our executive producers, Hooker T and Charmel Huffman, my name is Brad Gilmore. This is the reality of wrestling, and we will see you all in the very next episode.